Welcome to Tech Topics. My name is Stephanie and I'm an assistive technology and activity specialist with Future Insight. I hope you'll like our channel, subscribe, and check back frequently for more content. You can also find us at www.futureinsight.org. Today's topic is all about something that is pretty new and exciting, and that is descriptive video with AI. Yes, artificial intelligence is now describing your videos. They've been around describing photos for a while through different apps, but now video description is here through artificial intelligence. And I'm super excited about this because it's just going to move forward and improve over time as we go. We'll feature two of the apps that are offering this, which is Seeing AI and Pixiebot. And we'll compare and contrast them, talk about pluses and minuses, and I'll provide a demonstration of how they both work. We'll begin with Seeing AI, which is an app developed by Microsoft. It is available for both iPhone and Android users. So you can find it on the Google Play Store or the App Store. And this app is totally free. This service through Seeing AI is completely free. You may be a little familiar with Seeing AI as it has been around offering the uh, photo description uh, text description, documents, money identifier, and some other aspects to it. Uh, but now it has the video description through AI included. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to have to download the Seeing AI app from the App Store or Google Play Store and download it and install it and follow the initial steps to sign up for it. All right, and then once you've done that, you'll be with us on this uh video today uh, following along, you're going to open your camera roll and find a video that you would like described through Seeing AI. Keep in mind that they're not there yet. You cannot, you know, film a whole hour's worth of a concert or your daughter's play or your walk along the beach for 45 minutes. That's not going to work yet. Uh, currently, on average, around five minutes. Sometimes you can push it, you know, but um, at the time of this video, you really want to stick to around five minutes. Uh, so anything more than that, you're going to start getting bogged down. Uh, some videos have been trans, you know, video uh, described, oh, as much as maybe seven to 10 minutes, but that's rare. It's going to get bogged down. You're going to have more interruptions in the processing. So uh, what, what kind of examples would be great? Oh, if your family sends you videos especially of their walk along the beach that was, you know, just highlighting a sailboat in the water, that's an example. Um, somebody's sent their puppy dogs playing together and you wanted more descriptive video of what they're actually doing during the video. Uh, somebody sent you a video uh, from their trip to Barcelona and you want to know what was really going on. <laughs> so little clips, you know, those videos that are around that five minute mark, um, as well as your own videos. You know, you might've taken a lot of videos over the years and forgotten about what some of them really have in them. As long as they're short enough to be processed, you can go ahead and get that video description and enjoy it all over again. So uh, keep in mind with seeing AI, you can only uh, describe, it will only describe uh, 10 videos per 24 hour period at the time of this tutorial. So 10 videos a day, but that's not too bad. That's quite a bit. And um, it will, the way it will respond, and you'll see the difference once we get going, is the way seeing AI describes a video is you will receive some uh, AI uh, description uh, for a clip of the video, and then it will move forward a little bit you'll see the video and then it'll give you another little description and then the video, another little description in the video till it works its way through the whole thing in that back and forth method. And you'll see Pixiebot is much different with a summary of the entire video, but we're working on seeing AI right now. So once the app again is uh, downloaded, installed, and you've signed up and then you're in your camera roll, you've found a video you like that you want to have uh, described, you're going to open it. You don't need to play it, but you do want to open it up. And then you're going to look for the share button, okay? But first, I have one opened here from my camera roll. I have a short 16 second video. I found a short one for time's sake on the tutorial. 
Uh, and this one, I'm going to play it first without running it through any uh, video description because I want you to kind of see what it's like before and after. So here's the before. We'll play it. Current was play. Here Button. we go. Pause. Play. Okay, so if you have vision or some low vision, you might have captured a little bit of what that was or some of it. But if you have limited to no vision, you are going to be kind of out there wondering what was that all about? <laughs> and you're going to be really appreciating the video description. All right, so we have that video and we're going to look for that share button now. Current position. 13 video playback share. Button. And here's the share button. So you're going to tap on that or double tap with your screen reader, which I will do now. Close button. One video selected. And one video is selected. That's the video. It's highlighted or selected. And you're going to touch a little below halfway down the screen. Uh, and, and with vision, look down. Or if you're using the screen reader, you're going to flick to the right until you hear it say recognize with seeing AI. What we have here are all the different methods of how this video could be shared. And it could appear a little different for each and every one of you, depending on what apps you have on your phone. So basically, though, you're going to, again, touch a little below halfway down the screen and then flick to the right till you hear recognize with seeing AI, which I will do that now. Photos, video, date, video, video, date, Gary, make notes, Gary? button, freeform, but YouTube, but Zoom, button, WhatsApp, but Teams, button, Dropbox, Gmail, but Drive, but more, but add to shared album, add to album, AirPlay, button, copy iCloud link, export unmodified original, add to new quick note, save to files, save to Dropbox, recognize with seeing AI, button. And there's the recognize with seeing AI button. And all you have to do now is tap or double tap on that. And what will happen is it will bring that video, you know, through the audio, uh, descriptive video AI, and you will hear a processing sounds to confirm that that is really doing its job. And once it's done, it will just go right into the descriptive uh, video through AI. So you're going to hear your screen reader pretty much giving you those results. All right, so I'm going to double tap on it and we'll listen. Recognize with seeing it. alert. One video selected. And we know that it's selected again. And we're just waiting for it to share that with seeing AI. So we're going to wait Cancel. for the processing. processing. Seeing AI. And you cancel. Button. And here we go. Wait while descriptions for the video are generated. This may take several minutes, depending on the length of the video. All right, so there you said, it said, you know, it may vary depending on the length of video. This is only 16 seconds. And you'll get the idea that you still have to wait a little bit for even this short of a video. But we hear that noise constantly until it starts to describe so that we have that affirmation that it's still working on it. So we will find out what was in that video. A wide shot of a glacier with a mixture of white and blue ice, surrounded by rocky mountains under a cloudy sky. A large chunk of the glacier is breaking off and falling into the water, causing a splash. The glacier continues to calve, with more ice falling off into the water, creating waves. The glacier calving persists, with significant ice chunks splashing into the sea, creating frothy waves. The calving process slows down, with smaller pieces of ice falling into the water. The glacier appears calm again, with the ice looking stable and no further calving observed. So there you have it. You have the description of the video. You see the back and forth that I was mentioning where you have a little uh, AI description, then the video, a little AI description, then the video, and it brings you right through it. And that was actually a video from a trip to Alaska, and we were out on a boat looking at the glacier calving, um, and it was something else to really be able to hear that description, uh, to fill it in with, you know, the sounds and everything else to really know what was going on. 
Uh, you want to be aware of the fact that you need good internet signal uh, as well as, you know, upload speeds and things like that for it to work on the videos. Um, what else? You Once the video has been described, you can't go back and, you know, just tap on the screen and hear it right away. You'd have to reprocess it all over again. Um, so that's a little bit of a downfall. I do like hearing the live, you know, feedback throughout the uh, descriptive video. Um, and I think that it could also provide some inaccuracies. It is AI after all, it's not perfect. So you might find some errors. Beware of that. You know, it gives the basic idea. In this case, it was pretty good. Um, but it can make some mistakes as any AI could. But there you have it. That's like, it's pretty painless, pretty quick and easy on the steps. Once you have the Seeing AI app, just to recap, you get a video that you would like audio described and you click on share. Then you want to find recognize with Seeing AI. Tap on that or double tap with the screen reader and then it's going to process and read it back to you. So pretty simple, straightforward, free, and uh, up to 10 videos a day. That's what you have to keep in mind and your uh, limited, uh, you know, videos. But now we will move on and check out the alternative, which will be Pixiebot. Pixiebot is also available for both iOS and Android, so you can download it from the App Store or the Google Play Store. It is somewhat of a free app. It has a free aspect as well as a subscription. So unlike seeing AI that is totally free, uh, Pixiebot has two options. Uh, the free version is sufficient if you want some basic video descriptions with AI. So it does a great job. You do have some ads that might pop up. Uh, and so therefore in the subscription, some of the things you might get, a couple of examples in the subscription, would be ad-free and some different voices for the uh, feedback of the summary of the video description that you can choose from and, and those types of things. But for this video, we're going to stick to the free version of Pixiebot to show you that you can successfully um, get some video description through AI for both of these apps. And the other difference would be that seeing AI uh, has a 10 video limit per 24 hours, whereas Pixiebot does not. I have not pushed the envelope to see how many. I've done more than 10 in one day with Pixiebot, but <laughs> I haven't done 100. So, um, but they do not push a limit as of this tutorial right now. And again, the difference would be that seeing AI, their results come with some description, then video, some description, then video, as it runs through the entirety of the video. Uh, Pixiebot has the complete summary all in one. So we'll see that difference as we do a demo. So once you download Pixiebot, you're going to install it and, you know, do the initial setup of the app like you would any other app, giving it permissions and such. And then you would go to your camera roll and bring up a video. Similar, they want the short videos. You know, you can't do, you know, hour-long productions and all that just yet. Right now, it's a five-minute video at this point in time uh, when I'm doing this. And... So I am in the same video that I used for seeing AI, so you could see the difference in the results. I'm in that Alaskan glacier calving, and uh, we're going to look for that say, uh, share button again. So we're going to find share, share button, and we will double tap on that, and then we're going to touch a little below halfway down. And if you're using VoiceOver or TalkBack, you're going to flick to the right to work your way down the list until you hear Pixiebot this time. So I'm going to double tap on Share. Close button. Photo selection list. Select it. Mindy Heard. And then we're going to Messages. Mail button. Flick to the right until we hear Pixiebot. Pixiebot button. Oh, and there it is. So now we're going to double tap on Pixiebot, and it will. Um, process the video. You might hear an ad, you might not because it's random. It doesn't always give me an ad, but we may hear one. And then it will also provide the summary. So I'm going to double tap and we'll just go with it. Pixiebot. Alert. One video selected. 
So we know we have the video selected and we should be uh, able to hear the confirmation. It will announce PixieBot. So we know that it did in fact. PixieBot, subscription camera button. Yep, and there we definitely got that affirmation. And now it should process. We can hear the little tones. They're not very loud at all. You hear that processing of it creating a summary for this particular 16 second long. We are looking at this glacier that um, stretches horizontally across the screen, right? And it's framed against a stunning backdrop of water above and a cloudy mountainous landscape below. The glacier is an incredible blend of um, white and striking blue colors showing this amazing textured and uneven surface. We see uh, a section of the glacier calving with water just cascading down into the sea. To the right of the glacier, there's this dramatic dark rocky cliff face and a mountain like partially shrouded in these low hanging clouds. The overall lighting of the scene is overcast lending this soft and um, diffused quality to the whole environment. In the audio, we hear sounds of engines, maybe from a boat or some other vehicle we're on, along with some audible reactions and uh, voices of people in awe of the view they're witnessing. Okay, so there we have that description through PixieBot all at once, so you can tell the difference of how that will appear for you. One nice thing is uh, when you're in seeing AI, uh, the description is constantly moving forward. So as it moves forward, the other one is gone. You can't, you know, replay the uh, entirety of the results like you can with PixieBot. Video. Double tap to toggle. We are looking at a glacier that stretches horizontally across the screen, and it is framed against a backdrop of water above and a cloudy, mountainous landscape below. The glacier is a mix of white and striking blue colors, showing a texture. So there you go. I can uh, flick to the right. Video. And then Double I can flip back controls. on the description to the left. We are looking at a glacier that stretches horizontally across the screen, and it is framed against a backdrop. And I interrupted it, but I can do that as many times as I want. It's there for me to work with uh, and have at my fingertips. You can also find some other options as I flick to the right. Video. Play. Button. Page two of two. We can Adjustable. replay it. Play. Button. Page two of two. Adj video. Button. Video gallery. Button. There's a video gallery for... Uh, other videos you have in PixieBot. Camera button. There's also the uh, camera, and you can take photos and videos right from this app to be described. Photo gallery button. Ask more button. And here's your ask more. If I double tap on that, it would bring up the keyboard, and then you could use the dictation to ask your question or type it in. So if you want to know any follow-up of anything, it's all right there. So... The, these are some great additional features to PixieBot that Seeing AI doesn't currently offer for video description with AI. Another um, additional thing you can do with PixieBot is you can import uh, content from social media videos such as YouTube or Insta Instagram, uh, short videos, of course, again, right? You could put those into PixieBot and they would... Uh, give you a summary video description with AI for social media. So that's pretty darn nice as well. So those are the main features of seeing AI and PixieBot. I think they both have a place in this world, and I think we are advancing rapidly, and you will see you know, new and upcoming features to these apps as probably other apps that might pop up.